So, after two years, we're now here at the final conference of the Safe Arrival Project in Galway. It's been fantastic to look at how each country has implemented their tool um, and pull together the whole project and share each other's results. This is the last evaluation that we're doing and I've asked participants to answer the following questions. One highly enjoyable moment, uh, one thing that they would change and one thing that they'll implement after attending this conference. I've been very glad to listen uh, all the presentation from the partners uh, showing the last uh, product in, uh, and their experiences of the project of these two years they have been implemented in, in their countries and they have enlightened me and I have got some ideas to apply to, to my school. So I, this is for me very happy, very interesting. And on the other hand, uh, I, 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 I've been uh, very happy visiting the school, uh, the GTI. Uh, it's, it's very clear that uh, here the, the atmosphere is very close between the teachers and the students and also the staff, the principal of the school. Uh, it's very, very close, so it's very easy to, to educate in this, in this school. For me, it has been very, very interesting. One highly enjoyable moment. Um, I, think Mon I think Monday evening was a very enjoyable moment. It actually had a... Uh, it brought a small tear to my eye. Uh, meeting all the meeting colleagues and knowing this was the end of the project, but actually, actually deep down, think this is the the beginning of the project for cer certainly for myself and for my team back in Samwell, and we we are going to use this experience to go forward. I think it was uh, uh, visiting Ireland because I was in uh, Ireland uh, at first, and uh, the second uh, uh, visiting. Use a reach center in Galway because they are they have problems uh, uh, in our country uh, isn't uh, and it was very 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 interesting for me. So one highly enjoyable moment we, I suppose it was the opportunity to bring all the project partners together for one final meeting to illustrate the objectives and to make sure that we've achieved the objectives as per our application to the UK National Agency. And we've discovered through our evaluation in the last two days that we have, we have done that. I uh, visited Euphoreach, JTI, and we watched uh, activity uh, day. Yes, institution for young people in Galway. One highly enjoyable moment of um, this final conference that's been hosted here in, in Galway um, has been really the, uh, I suppose, the potential for all of the partners to um, collaborate and to cooperate and to work together in presenting their findings and their final findings of the SAP project. Um, to see the outcomes from all of the various different partners has been very, very interesting and indeed has been very, very rewarding. The most enjoyable moment uh, as every time to see my colleagues, my friends, to exchange information and feel the international spirit of the meeting. For my uh, opinion, in the most uh, in the most important for me, uh, informal talking with my colleague uh, from Hungary, from Birmingham, and from Valencia, and from Galway because my English is not so good. Uh, for me, uh, very important informal talking with my colleagues uh, during my dinner or lunch and so on. I've been invited to say what one highly enjoyable moment was, and there have been so many. But if I'm really honest, probably the best moment for me was seeing the results. Um, this has been a, a project which I've been thinking about um, for quite some time. I've been researching risk factors for over 20 years. And it's the first time I've had an opportunity to impart this information to people who are going to take it um, into different countries and run with it. Um, to see the results, I've been um, honestly incredibly flattered. And that was probably my most enjoyable moment. If I was to change anything about this, uh, this project, I know I would include an awful lot of more questions which might give me um, an overall better profile of the students that we have here at GTI to include a more holistic awareness of their own individuality. For example, it would include things like what their own overall awareness is of their attendance, their punctuality, 
for general life skills to make a fair assessment of how they are with different things in life. And I think that extending that questionnaire uh, would give us a broader answer, um, a, a broader answer context for what, we, what we're looking for. Um, what would I change? Well, I, I can't say I would change anything. Um, it was run the way it should have been run. Um, it was highly professional, brilliantly organised, so well done, particularly to um, to John and Gerling. It was it was all uh, very good uh, managed. Uh, it uh, uh, is uh, it uh, wasn't uh, any problem. It was a very professional professional work working for our team and this country. I think the timings, what people said in the feedback is that the timing of the survey um, uh, can be better and I agree with that. Um, in terms of the delivery, I suppose, I, if I'm really honest, I'd like to be slightly more hands-on, um, but given an international project of this nature, that's actually quite hard. So the thing I'd probably change is I'd like to have visited each of the countries and I didn't visit Manage all that this time. Hát lehet, hogy egy ö, ilyen összejövetelben a kis csoportos munkák azok még közelebb tudják hozni azokat a tapasztalati átadásokat, amiket helyi szinten csináltunk. Mert itt most nekem leginkább, ami a gyakorlat miatt megmutatkozott, az az ír példa, ami nagyon-nagyon jó modellnek tűnik. Um, I would do more small group work because through that you can more deeply understand what's going on and I liked very much the Irish example. What I would change is, is more and more experience exchange. We, we, we have a lot but I, I, I cannot stress that we need more and more because Hungary needs a lot of new innovation and uh, we realized that working in European project, we can bring a lot of new things to Hungary and we would like to, 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 to put them in reality, adapt them and uh, that, that, that makes development for me. One thing that I'll implement after attending the conference is uh, it's my responsibility to do the final report. So I'll pull together all the information that I've gained so far, um, put it all into the final report and hopefully um, gain a successful outcome from that. One thing I will implement after attending the conference, I'll definitely aim to disseminate the project information to the other centres within GRETB. It's extremely important that this project is widely available to all stakeholders, locally, regionally and nationally. Implement uh, to my a colleague uh, or to my school, uh, I think the uh, problems with immigrants and uh, other uh, multicultural society will be in our country very, very, very in, in a very short time, and uh, I think we can prepare for it. One thing that I'll be implementing after this conference will be um, processing all the financial tables to complete the final report with Tracy, so there's going to be a lot of work to do there. She would bring this whole school to Hungary. <laughs> it's been really interesting to listen how different countries have developed different approaches in terms of inter interventions, having used the tool to identify uh, students who potentially need. So some countries have identified mentoring, some countries have uh, sort of a heavy emphasis on one-to-one -one contact and tutoring, um, but it's been a lots of different sort of strategies used to sort of support young people and I think it'd be really interesting to sort of develop that further. When I come back to Spain I think that the most important uh, task I have to tackle is to transmit all what I've learned here and in this project and especially I need to design a program for training the teachers, training the families, the parents, and also how to transmit in a proper way what is the several project to the students. Not the students, I mean, not, not only the students who are going to be subject of, uh, of this uh, methodology, but also the second year students, because in our school, uh, the second year students will be our mentors of, of the first year students who are more risk of, of, of becoming dropouts.
One of the things that has um, come out of this particular conference for us here at GTI is um, one of the initiatives that Sandwell College in the UK has implemented recently, um, and that is the development of their college app. So we've been looking at that with some of the partners um, with a view to engaging with Sandwell in the future in seeing how that actual application could uh, benefit this organisation here in GTI, particularly with a view to incorporating the screening tool for the Safe Arrival project within that app and using that at application stage for GTI students. It would certainly, I imagine, um, lend itself to gathering the data at a very early stage in the screening process, which is actually vital for the positive outcomes of the project.